We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. Welcome to Day One. Our radio preacher is Reverend Deborah Metzger Shue of the Episcopal Church. She is also vicar of Emmaus House in Atlanta, Georgia. Her message is entitled, Losing Your Voice for Love's Sake, from 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. In a moment, some reflections on her message and on this passage, but first, here's Reverend Shue. The murder of a child is every parent's worst nightmare. In today's sermon, hear how one faithful man moved from words into action as he faced the death of his daughter. The black family, who happened to be white, moved to Vine City in Atlanta, one of the poorest neighborhoods in that town, where their girl's arrival meant the first integration of the neighborhood school. Informed by their Quaker roots, they began reaching out to their neighbors and weaving their lives into the fabric of this new community. Let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action, said the voice, and they listened. Nowhere did the warp and woof of that fabric get woven as strongly as it did with a small girl named Tricia, who one day showed up on their doorstep and announced her presence. She walked into their house and then into their hearts forever, became their fourth daughter, in a family where her darker skin meant only that the fabric was richer and more cherished. All right, this white family moves into this very difficult, tough neighborhood in Atlanta, Georgia. What are the risks they're taking? They're actually risking their very lives in, in some way because they stand the chance of not being accepted by those within the community. And being a part of community means that you have something in common. Therefore, it would take extra struggle to find the commonality and to actually begin to fit in to that community. So what are they going to need here in this situation? They're going to have to emanate a love in order for other people to come to love them. I know some communities where newcomers come in, they're welcomed, they're invited. So if they have that sense of love, perhaps that love will be returned. So they could be welcomed. It, could be, a, it could be a ready Absolutely. welcome. Absolutely, yeah. yes. But it takes a, a great deal of strength of, of character and intentional effort to be willing to leave a place where you are accepted, to go to a place where you're not sure whether you will be accepted or not. You cut yourself off on both ends and maybe left stranded out there. So what great courage this was. So why are they doing this? Again, why are they going there? For love's sake. And because like Abraham, they heard that voice in their hearts saying, go. Now, not all of us are able to be that kind of pioneers. I also think about the community itself. What was their reaction to them? And in many ways, it took as much courage on their part to receive and accept this new family as it did for this new family to go in. There's all kinds of pioneers. Let us love not in word, but in deed. I mean... That puts it all there, doesn't it? Well, that's a lot easier to say than it is to do. I know as I look back on my life as a retired clergyman, one of my deepest regrets is that I didn't do more. And I was wondering how, how much of a risk can I take and still not lose myself entirely. But as I look back, I, I regret that I didn't do more. What about this little girl, a little African-American girl who shows up on their doorstep and actually she winds up becoming part of their family in, in a sense. In she essence. embodied the welcome that was already there in the community for them. Mm -hmm. no, Wonderful. Angels do show up now and then. <laughs> <laughs>
And it, and embody the, the also the sense of hey this risk was worth it yes. for everyone Absolutely. not just for them but also for the community. She took a little risk. Everyone in this scenario took a risk in being able to say let's go forward together.